MC Mike, how are you doing? Chicho Man, I'm breaking down, brother. Need some uh, cheering up. Canada has fallen. Uh, MC Mike, uh, I know there's a lot of things going on, but uh, there's a lot of positive going on. Really, there's a lot of positive going on. Uh, I don't want to get into it during a personal finance stream because otherwise we won't be able to load it up on sensor too. Uh, but don't break down, brother. There's a lot of amazing stuff going on. There's a lot of amazing stuff going on, right? And we're doing a current events in a couple of days or something. Um, we can talk about it then if you like. Uh, but I'll give you one example. Uh, in After 9-11, I couldn't... There was barely anybody that understood what was going on, right? But like right after 9-11 invasion of Afghanistan I'd be going around and talking to people and people they drank the Kool-Aid up to here they were Kool-Aid coming out of their not only their a-holes but coming out of their ears and their eyes and their own nose I was trying to explain to them look man this isn't what you think it is couldn't convince anyone right now this is on the same level what's going on by the way very much on the same level one of the most important peers in human history by the way last two years and economically as well that's why it's related economically right now minimum minimum in my part of words is harder but i'm guessing minimum 50 percent of the population in canada know exactly what is going on now or they will within the next month that's a huge increase in 20 years that's a that's an amazing an amazing number of people growth of the veil being lifted and everyone going the emperor's not wearing clothes whoa what's going on now what did we do right uh, that's huge brother that's huge that's huge right it's still less than what I what I would hope for don't get me wrong don't get me wrong I don't like seeing people uh, get hurt in terms of finances health and stuff like this which is one of the reasons i was writing a lot of economics articles in 2006 2007 building up to the 2008 clash crash telling people look man get out of marcus it's about the you know the poop is about to hit the fan get up get out the stuff the stuff the stuff because it's 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 difficult to watch people lose shit, right however however at that time uh even though there were some that had awakened because it was 2006 2007 after the invasion of iraq people to a certain degree more figured out it was as greenspan said it's about the oil <laughs> like they came out and said it's about the oil right and that links up to the question that um uh joe asked what aspect of the sanctions on russia is going to affect the economy most it's energy energy it, gang if you want to think about anything right energy is the driving factor for everything okay how much energy you put into your studies depend uh, will dictate how you do in your studies right how much energy you put into your family dictates how the health of your family how much energy you put into your own well-being your own mindset right uh, dictates how you will function in the society and the cost of energy in our current economic system and what type of energy we are consuming dictates every aspect of our lives from the economic and political front right so look at the amount of energy being uh, uh, being consumed by certain systems uh, look into how much energy is being emitted uh, with certain movements and where that energy is going and once you can you can track this energy you can recognize this energy you can at least not um, be able to you could possibly if you have the algorithms to m collect data and do calculations but at least you can recognize it to a level that you can approximate it quantify it approximately right then you can see uh where we might be heading right it's not the immediate that is the key uh here okay it is what um, the repercussions of certain actions 
are going to be in our economic and political systems and in our society that is taking place right now and once you look at it that way uh you realize a certain faction is making every wrong move possible uh that is awakening another faction in our societies that uh that me and you belong in <laughs> it's brilliant it's brilliant right a lot of people are getting hurt you know what sometimes our uh, pain is part of growing up right i would argue that pain is always a part of growing up so for example uh, all of those people who had their eggs in one basket May it be fiat currency, centralized institutions, centralized banking, centralized education, centralized political system. Uh, all of those people or many of those people are waking up to the reality that, oh, wait a second. The games have the rules of the game have changed. Our central education system has collapsed. Wait a second. So the amount of money I'm spending in taxes uh, to make sure my child gets a proper education it has been wasted because my child is not getting a proper education so i need to fork out more money to private institutions or to private educators to be to be able to make sure my child is properly educated right you're seeing people being abused on a political front you're seeing people being abused on the financial front right all of that is adding is 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 causing people to join the wave right like I, th I don't want to go too specific because this is the personal finance stuff right we can definitely talk about this more uh, in a couple of days two or three days when we do the current events but all of that is economics all of that is economics all of it 